Valerio says, good morning. In the company, we have around 80 employees in Office 365. How is it possible to back up the organization's Microsoft Teams conversations? Is there a product? I think Christian has something on this, don't you, Christian? Well, you're going to love these answers. <laughs> I know. Like, I know Microsoft you know. Is, is, is answers it in two ways. They say, well, um, you know, Azure does a backup. <laughs> Not a real answer. Um, no, the other the other way is out of the box is, uh, well, you can export that conversation and save it in a place that's your backup so like a manual backup for that but uh, i mean there's now the when you're done with that there is the teams archival which then collects all those things and stores it but that's again at the when you're archiving it it's not an active so i mean the it depends answer begins <laughs> with uh you know is it uh I mean, is it is it a completed, a closed project? You're not adding to it, and it's going to be archived, or is it like an ongoing backup where you want it to back up daily, weekly, whatever the the process is, like in that manual process for that? Uh, otherwise, are there products? Yeah, there's a ton of third party tools that go out there and and do that. Um, I mean, I, I I've not used all of them. I've been out of that space in a while, but uh, Surekate, Suregate, Avpoint, uh, I think Quest has that. Um, Syskit might have that as well on the team side. I mean, it, yeah. so there's a lot of products that are out there. Well, you know, like backup products. Actually, it's not Suregate. That's migration. Um, you know, Avpoint. I know for sure has it. I worked at Avpoint. Uh, that's their number one space is in backup archival, and they can do that. Um, and then they just, it, the other part of the, it depends there with third party tools is again, what, how often do you want, how granular do you need that to be? So you can do it manual if you just need it a couple of times, cause you're about to go do something risky, like do a migration, restructure, rebuild that, or just want to take a snapshot just to be more, feel more secure around that conversation, export it, save it somewhere. Um, or third-party tool to automate that and have a more granular backup solution. Um, I should say, like other backups, um, Keep It, Veeam, others, they also do that. Um, again, I've been out of the, the, that, that space for, for a while, so I don't know how granular they go, but there are tons of vendors out there. If you went in there and said Microsoft Teams backup, and you're going to get dozens of product companies. Lots of solutions out there. You just have to think about, you know, what what assets? Is it just a conversation? Do I also want all the attachments? Um, all that that piece. Be think of it that way. Is that um, it, you know the the conversations, the meetings, all of that is through the Exchange side of Teams. And so, if you have archival set up for Exchange, it's going to capture all of those pieces. Uh, if it's a snapshot of everything together in context, the conversational, the chat pieces, the meetings, as well as the content, then you want to do the archival or go through a third party tool that's much more robust. Um, that's going to keep all those pieces together. Otherwise, you're going to have your SharePoint components and your Exchange components archived separately. And then pulling that, what's that experience going to be like to go and search through that and and do discovery and kind of whatever else that you need your requirements there. So what are you what are you trying to do after after the backup? How often? It's the uh, uh, that that business continuity question. You know how fast do you need to be able to go and retrieve it? How you know how granular do you need to pull all of that back up, which could take longer and cost more? or third-party solution, which can be very granular. I want this conversation on this day, bring back just these components, and it can do that, but you'll pay for it. 